RIT is a longtime leader in advancing access and inclusion for people of all abilities through the development of access technology. Whether it's wheelchairs, navigation devices, 3D printed prosthetics, computer-based games or apps, technology is breaking down barriers. As good as the services, as good as um, all of the advocacy has been for people with disabilities over the last many generations, We've, we've only come this far. And technology has the opportunity to break that right apart and propel us forward in ways that a few years ago you wouldn't have even been able to imagine. RIT researchers are developing software that would help deaf students maximize their learning in the classroom. Deaf students say they miss a lot of information because they must split their focus between numerous sources, such as the interpreter, the professor, and any presentation materials. Researchers are creating eye-tracking software that gives students the ability to control the pace of their learning. This equipment allows students to pause an interpreter in order to view PowerPoint and other visual information that is being presented simultaneously. When their gaze returns to the interpreter, they can catch up to the real time of the lecture. The students are going to feel less stressed. They will be able to focus their learning. They'll be able to maximize their working memory to retain complex information. It's been a benefit for me, and I know that if it benefits me, it means it will be great for so many other students in the future. And from the classroom to the home, RIT students are developing a device that would alert deaf and hard of hearing individuals of household sounds. Equipped with microphones, the device would connect to an app warning them of sounds like a boiling teapot, a triggered smoke alarm, or a crying child. Imagine being both deaf and blind. RIT is developing a navigation device called a smart cane that uses force feedback, right or left vibrational force, to direct individuals to a location. When I, this project came about, I was very excited and I could make a huge impact. I would like to provide the independence for uh, deaf and blind people out there. I want them to move freely without depending on anyone else, just as using this technology, uh, smart cane. I think it would benefit deafblind people. It would help them find which obstacles to go around. The purpose of access technology is to minimize life's obstacles and allow people to live more independently. For example, a challenge for patients who suffer a stroke is maintaining their posture and balance. At RIT, a prototype called Spinaline is a wearable vest that uses audio and vibrational feedback from a smartphone to alert patients when their posture needs to be corrected. And from assisting aging seniors to supporting the needs of young people, RIT is making a difference in the lives of children. One of the barriers for kids with cerebral palsy is limited mobility. To help them move around their environment, RIT senior engineering students designed a motorized pediatric stander. The stander features touch sensor buttons on a Lego tray that the child pushes to move forward, backward, left and right. Developing a stander that has um, the capability for a child to access it easily on their own just opens up a whole new world. Giving them mobility and independence is a big goal um, in the therapy setting, in the school setting where I work. The students developed a kit with all the accessories that would be needed to modify a non-motorized stander. The latest version has a remote control. The ultimate goal is to be able to commercialize the kits. When we went to CP Rochester, we were able to see a girl use this, and she was so excited. Her eyes lit up. She was bragging to her grandparents about how she used the stander, and it kind of just brought it home how this would really impact those lives. And a global network of thousands of volunteers is changing the lives of children around the world who need hands and arms. The group, called Enable, was founded by RIT research scientist John Schull. Enable uses 3D printing and open source designs to make customized hands and arms at a fraction of the cost of a traditional prosthetic. Schull was inspired after watching a YouTube video about a carpenter from South Africa who cut off his fingers in a shop accident. A prop maker from Washington State made a 3D printed hand for the carpenter. Shull created a Google map and posted a comment to the video saying, if you have a 3D printer and want to help, or if you need a hand, put yourself on the map.
It's at the cutting edge of technology. It's at the cutting edge of humanitarian um, philanthropy and, and software development. And it makes little kids really, really happy. And it brings tears to their eyes of their parents. What could be better than that? 3D print is, is amazing because it can do incredible things with cosmetics, with really cool colors and really crazy designs. And it makes it so the kid wants the thing and loves the thing, and then all of a sudden they're a prosthetic user and they're using their other arm. But this is a solution for a big world problem. So to be a part of that feels pretty good.